20 minutes after 7 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this uh, Friday morning. It's Friday. Not only is it Friday, but there's a hollow sound here. Oh, there it goes. That's fine. It's not only Friday, but it's a beautiful Friday. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful it is out there. It is November 18th, 2016. Thank you for tuning your radio to The Source, WOCA. We are broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall just outside the WOCA Commissary where you, too, can get a bite to eat. 48 degrees right now, and the forecast looks pretty good. Good morning, Robin. How are you? Good, good, good. Good morning, Larry. How are you? I'm pretty good. Are you ready for this? Sunny skies today. Highs around 80. Lows 51 tonight. No mention of rain in today's forecast. Nice. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what I'm interested in. Tomorrow. Saturday, Mm -hmm. November 19th. The day Uh of light up Ocala. Yes. High temperatures, 78 degrees, so slightly cooler. Uh-huh. There is a 10% chance of rain. We're not worried about 10% chance of rain. Mm-hmm. 43 degrees, the expected low. Nice. 36 degrees, the expected low Sunday night. 65, the expected high Sunday, which means mm-hmm. tomorrow night when the lights go on in Ocala. Yep. At Light Up Ocala. Mm-hmm. It should be cool, which is always good because, you know, it's the kickoff of the holiday season. Yeah. And we just like that. Wunderbar. 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 <laughs> You've been watching Lawrence Welk, haven't you? <laughs> A one and two. <laughs> Wunderbar. Uh, all right, so let me tell you what we're doing this morning. Oh, by the way, speaking of the weather, did you see the snow? Oh, my gosh, there's a lot of snow in the news. No, I'm glad. I want to go see snow. You want to go see snow? Uh, winter it. Storm Argos. They, now they give the storms names. Causing okay. pileups, closing highways as blizzard threat moves across Rockies. So this is way out west right now. but. Oh, okay. All right, anyway, so 7.35, we have news and commentary, and um, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. 8.35, we have news sans commentary. Yes. (laughs) Sans, is that what you say? Sans? without News without commentary. Exactly. You did it right. 9.05, Jim George, Professor Gadget. This is the time of year that you buy gadgets for other people. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you've got somebody Mm -hmm. who wants you to buy a gadget for them. Yeah. Well... Jim can answer your questions about those gadgets. That's what he's here for. Uh, Kay Kendall is an historian, an animal rescuer, an award-winning author, and the book that Kay has written is called Rainy Day Woman, or Women, rather. It's an Austin Star mystery novel. Yep. She's coming on at 9.35. 9.50 after Kay, Dr. Michael Cooney is a practicing retina specialist. He's talking to us about the ways to combat diabetic macula edema. Yep. We will learn what that is. I don't know. November is Diabetic Eye Disease Month, so he's coming on for that reason. Ocala Magazine Radio. Yes, yes, it's Friday, so uh, Kelly Hart will be here talking to us about what's in the magazine. Yesterday, I'll have to pass on to her uh, a compliment that the magazine got uh, from one of the veterans. Okay. And I would love for the magazine to do an article on this particular veteran because this particular veteran is an amazing artist he sculpts wood yes he does and he sculpts wood into i'm telling you these things look real he has birds have you ever seen anything but birds birds he always does birds always birds yeah but he does um walking canes too and walking but he does walking and can- they're he, amazing unbelievable yeah uh, amazing don williams is his name he was mm-hmm. uh the head of the young marines for the longest time giving uh, kids uh, a way to get back on the right track those kids who had fallen off the off the path Mm yes students exactly and and my guys what a quiet guy an unassuming guy he uh yesterday the the group of them stood for a photo he just stood back (laughs) he didn't even get in the photo (laughs) very humble ultra talented you'll never know just by talking to him i I was amazed when i saw his artwork and Mm -hmm. And, and we can brag about it and brag about it and brag about it, but what I love when there's a visual media, and they did, and, and he gave such a compliment to the magazine, f- and he's not in it. No. The, the, the pictorial that they did for veterans was outstanding, yep. and he was just so proud of it, and uh, oh my gosh, the, mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever known a group of people, men and women, who I've 
Oh gosh, bonded with is that a good word? I don't want to say something corny, but anyway, no, I just bonded. I just love them also. Bonded, yeah. Anyway, no, uh, the veterans, God bless so America. I'll, so I'll pass on to Kelly the uh, the compliment and then yep. put the bug in her ear. Maybe the magazine can do a, a piece on Don. Yeah, because the magazine itself is fabulous. They have a huge staff, and everybody comes together at Ocala Magazine to put out what they do every month. Legal Lane at ten thirty five. Vanessa Lane Jennings comes in here to talk to us about the law. Did you yep. know? That if you're sideswiped, uh huh, and the person who sideswiped you doesn't stop, yes, and you decide to go after the person to say, "Wait a minute, you just hit me," mm-hmm. and flash your lights, and the mm-hmm. guy just speeds away, and you can't get him, mm-hmm. but you write down his license number, and then you call the police. Do you know the police will give you a ticket for leaving the sign of the crime, the scene of the crime? Yep. Didn't oh, know that. the crime. <laughs> you left the scene of a crime. <laughs> you got the ticket. Yeah, the one that's supposed to, you know, that so follows we will ask, all the rules. We will ask Vanessa about that one. Yeah. That is crazy. Francois Thibault and mm-hmm. Rachel Smith are coming on at 11.05. Uh, Fr- Francois is a French language teacher. Mm-hmm. You might have guessed from the name, right? Yep. And Rachel is 12 years old. And they are speaking about uh, the many benefits of learning a foreign language at an early age. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, a, Kimmy. I, and she's learning French. She do, you don't have to learn Spanish because there are a lot of languages out there. Yeah, but Spanish is... A, I, love, I love languages, first of all. Let me yeah. just say that. And But yep. Spanish is just such a natural for Floridians and Southern Californians and Texans. I mean, mm-hmm. we've so there's so many people around us that speak Spanish. Yeah, but if you want to, you know... Dr. Balaz Halmos at 11.20. Dr. Halmos is a board-certified internal medicine doctor mm-hmm. speaking to us about the importance of testing in advanced lung cancer treatments and non-invasive tests that use blood samples instead of tissue samples. Yeah. Whoosh, did you feel the air? That went over my head? It was yeah. over my head. I have no mm-hmm. idea what that's about. Fun with Joe. Oh, my gosh. I found this thing, and I thought this is going to be great for fun with Joe. Okay. All right. You know the jokes where you say, how many fill in the blank Mm -hmm. does it take to screw in a light bulb right exactly all right well whatever the punchline i'm going to read you the punchline to one Mm -hmm. of those jokes okay and you have to tell me which group is being insulted (laughs) oh okay (laughs) i will tell you the punchline you have to tell me what's the group that's being insulted with the punchline oh nice i love that oh my gosh this is an equal equal opportunity offending segment <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, nobody's left out of this one it's gonna be fun oh my gosh it's such a fun fun uh, fun topic nice. and then tomorrow is light up Ocala. so when galen you know is on mm-hmm. this morning in just about a half hour or so uh-huh we have for him 20 facts he may or may not have ever known about light cool when those lights when each one of those light bulbs comes on tomorrow night how many light bulbs are there mm-hmm. a gazillion just use that number. Yeah. A gazillion light bulbs. Will They're $28,000 worth when they had to replace them. Is that I right? Know that. Yeah, I know that's that at figure. Least a good, that's at least a gazillion lights, light bulbs. Anyway, yep. each one of them will emit light, and that light is an amazing thing. Light is an amazing thing. So uh, we'll talk to Gail about light. It's a funny topic, too, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah, I think it's cool. I love your inventiveness. Every day you've got something brand new. WOCA has a brand new, speaking of something new, we have a brand new TV that we are giving away. Yep. It is made by the Samsung people, Mm -hmm. and it is 55 inches, and it is flat, and it is smart, and it does YouTube and Facebook and whatever else. I'm looking at the box right now because it's here in the studio. Yes, it is. And we are giving it away. Mm -hmm. Now, don't call in right now because my my (laughs) instructions are, are very strict. Ah. Right? Yes. Didn't they they tell me we can, we got to wait till we get the go ahead from the boss. Right. Exactly. And anybody, anybody here qualifies as the boss. Yeah, except me. And me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, tomorrow at Light of Ocala, if you visit our booth, you can put your name into the box, and then you can get your husband to put his name in the box. And if you are the husband, then you get your wife, and you mm-hmm. can get your children. In other words, I'm giving you some tips on how to get your name in the box a lot of times, because you can put your name in the box <laughs> Yeah, uh, a lot of times. Oh, no, that's a question we have to ask, Joe. Is it just for people 18 and over, or can everybody Oh, that's it? always the rule. He didn't Yeah, you're that. right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. 18 I, and over. I think that's always the rule. Okay. Yeah. 
So forget what I just said. But you can okay. still drop by tomorrow, put your name in the box. That's right. And get your wife and your cousin and your uncle and your grandma <laughs> and your dog. How old is your dog? Well, seven times whatever it is. <laughs> you put the cutest puppy video on Facebook. Oh, it yeah. It's so fun. So anyway, uh, it's going to be a fun weekend. We have a fun morning planned, and uh, we'll be right back with news and commentary. This is WOCA. Fox News Radio, I'm Jack Callahan. President-elect Trump's choice for national security advisor is retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, a fierce critic of President Obama's foreign policy. He's made very controversial statements uh, about Muslims before. He's taken on President Obama, challenged him on national security. Fox is Ed Henry, and there's another transition interview this weekend, which may surprise some. The transition team announced that Mitt Romney will be meeting with Donald Trump this weekend at the Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Apparently, Romney is being considered for the Secretary of State job. Fox's Doug McElway. Blizzard warnings posted in western Minnesota. Parts of the Dakotas, a storm bringing heavy snow to the northern plains. One woman dead, seven people wounded when a gunman opens fire at a two-year-old's birthday party in Dyersburg in northeast Tennessee. Fox News. We report. You decide. school bus in class. I go to school with your children. We say the Pledge of Allegiance together. You see me around the neighborhood and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America and I'm struggling with hunger. This problem is closer than you think. My teacher tells me we can grow up to be whatever we want. I want to grow up to be someone who doesn't go to bed hungry. There's enough food in this country to feed everybody. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me, quietly struggling with hunger. Together, we are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. If you're hearing this message and wish to lose 50 pounds permanently, then write this phone number down, 352-633-0473. Dr. Juan Jordan's office in Lady Lake is offering the first 15 callers a free metabolism and body fat analysis with a comprehensive, in-depth fat-burning consultation. You have nothing to lose. Please call 352-633-0473. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. So if you're throwing a party, here are the top snooping spots, just so you know. The bathroom medicine cabinet, number one. Next is the bedroom, and then the closets. Homes with kitchens painted in warm yellow tones produce the highest sale premium. What is the worst kitchen color? This may surprise you. It's white. Even if you're trapped in a cubicle with only fluorescence overhead, you can increase your energy levels by plugging in an extra lamp for your desk. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Robin, how do you like my design? You're designing a box? That's not a box. It's a doghouse. Rough draft for your rough rough? Sounds like you need personal service. I do? Yes, to print the blueprints. See Mark at the Personal Service Center. He can print blueprints, notarize permit applications, print and mail out invoices, and even provide great looking business cards. Personal Service Center. That's the one on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street, right? Just look for the yellow signs. Your pedigree palace will be a reality in no time. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 572-2510. That's 572-2510. Whether you're just starting out in your career or ready to make a change, being a commercial pilot is within your reach. The FAA has predicted that in the next few years, the number of planes in the sky will double, and that means a lot more jobs in aviation. Ocali Aviation has teamed up with an accredited university, enabling you to get a college degree in aviation while training to be a commercial pilot. And with options like financial aid, grants, and scholarships, it's never been a better time to get your new career in aviation started today. For more information, call me at Ocali Aviation, 352-861-7484. 
You have that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did it start from? Hmm. Own Dry Roofing can and will fix it right the first time using quality materials and will deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure, plus they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. Beautiful Friday morning. It's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, looks like be- just a beautiful weekend as well. It's cool temperatures moving in tomorrow. If you have never gone to Light of Ocala, uh, uh, I will tell you, it is it is really a great event. It's a signature event. I like to say that. L- go hungry. Go hungry. Yeah. Go hungry. And, and what else would you tell them? Be prepared for crowds. You know, but don't worry. Yeah. You, you can bring a chair or whatever. You know, say hi to us. Say hi to there's uh, lots of people there with booths. Uh, we yep. have a booth. Uh, I know that. Mm-hmm. Well, if I start naming anybody, I'm going to leave out everybody. So yeah. there's lots of booths. Enjoy the talent too. I mean, there's talent all over yes. the place to keep you yeah. occupied until they turn on the lights. Yeah, it's it's just a lot of fun. A big big party downtown, and it's mm-hmm. it has expanded since it's been doing. They've been doing this for 33 years, I think. I yeah, think, I think that so. was the number I read. And uh, so there you go. By the way, uh, WOCA has teamed up with uh, a group called Florida Kids Helping Kids, right? Am mm-hmm. I saying it right? Yep. And we have a Christmas tree here in the studio. Uh, yesterday we had a guest who said, isn't it a little early? And I said, no, nah, next week is Thanksgiving. Usually we put it up on uh, Thanksgiving. Right. But this year we put it up early because we wanted to have a place to put the gifts for the homeless children. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the gifts are coming from all of you. And yes. we really appreciate it. We've got a, a nice little little group of gifts right now that uh, will grow as it has in years past. What happens is you guys and ladies, you come in here with your gifts. It doesn't have to be something you bought. You can find it maybe in your attic and dust it off, make sure it works, and mm-hmm. bring it in. If a kid will, will love it, then, then uh, it's a wonderful thing. And and you just bring it in here, and we'll put it under the tree. And then I think on December sixteenth, yep. so what you said, yep. uh, one of the ladies from or a cu- couple of people from uh, Kids Gers. Helping Kids will come in here. All of the toys stay in Marion County. The children who they go to are identified by the school system as homeless children. Mm-hmm. So that's how they know who to give these to. And what they do, they don't just give them the gifts. What they do is they invite the children to come to their location. I think down in Bellevue, right? Yeah, there is a location in Bellevue. Uh, Jerry, two years ago, had it at the uh, uh, drive-in movie theater. Oh, okay. And I don't recall where she had it last year, so okay. she'll let us Which know. Which is not important to you. All, all that's important to you is to know that if you bring in a gift, it'll go to a, a kid, a child. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so she invites the children to wherever, and then they pick out a gift, and then the folks at Kids Helping Kids wrap those gifts, and mm-hmm. the children take them home and wait till gift-giving day. And they give the gift. I say gift giving day because it could be Christmas, it could be Hanukkah. I think Hanukkah begins on the twenty sixth this year, yes. doesn't it? Yep, it does. Okay, so uh, yeah, just it's, it's just something. I mean, it's we call it Christmas gifts, but it could be Hanukkah gifts, you know? Right, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa gifts. Do they, people give gifts on Kwanzaa? Yep, yep. We had interviewed a lady, and uh, I know they celebrate they it. Do, but they do. They, they celebrate gifts? it. And so if gifts. I recall, all those gifts years ago, we yeah, but Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is usually Christian people, right? Could be Jewish too. So if you're Jewish yeah. and and you celebrate Kwanzaa, they oh man. <laughs> so if you, so if, you, luck so out, if you have a birth, you. if you have a birthday, wait a minute. <laughs> if you if your birthday is December twenty fifth, let's say yeah, this year, yeah, and you celebrate Hanukkah also. Let's say you have a Jewish mother, Christian father, or something yep. like that. Okay, mm-hmm. so your family celebrates Christmas and Hanukkah, and you celebrate your birthday, and you're black. Because yes. Kwanzaa is basically a black holiday, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, you get a Christmas gift, a Kwanzaa gift, a Hanukkah gift, and a birthday gift. Exactly. Man. You you rake in the dough, let me tell you. You luck out. <laughs> no, you don't. Mom and dad just say, yeah, this is for all four of events. <laughs> this is good. This will cover everything. <laughs> I, got you a, I got you a globe. It's got north, east, south, and west. There, all four things covered. <laughs> Meanwhile, the sibling that has a birthday in June is real happy because they get all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. 
All right, let's see. Uh, what's in the, so if you, if you can bring a gift, just bring it to the studio. That's what I wanted to end yep, on. Yeah, doesn't All right. have to be brand can you, new. Can you believe Mitt Romney? I just love <laughs> this story. <laughs> Ted Cruz was uh, uh, Ted Cruz and Donald Trump hated each other. Yeah. And now now they're oh oh you could put me on your team okay. Mitt Romney oh my gosh he he wanted Trump dead sounded like now yes. now he wants to be. <laughs> Secretary of State. Exactly. Oh wow. This is just this is a fascinating year. See, Donald Trump is smart. He's he's going for the people that he knows will get the job done. The Saint Anthony, Minnesota police officer charged in the fatal shooting of Philando Castile is expected to appear in court today. Geronimo Yanez faces charges of second-degree manslaughter and multiple counts of dangerous discharge of a firearm in connection with the shooting during a traffic stop in July. God. The death of Castile, who was black, went viral when the aftermath was broadcast on Facebook Live. In the video, his girlfriend said Castile informed Yanez he was carrying a permitted firearm. The incident sparked days of protests in Minnesota. Yeah. So that... That case today. Governor Rick Scott spent some time with Donald Trump yesterday. They talked about health care reform. Scott said that he's not interested in running the Department of Health for the president. He's not interested in any cabinet position. He says uh, he's got a job to do here in Florida. He likes being governor. Mm-hmm. He's got 781 days to go, he said. Uh, so, <laughs> But he says he will do whatever he can to help Trump. Um, so, mm-hmm. interesting story there. Uh, a nine-year-old boy fell out of a balcony in Lake Buena Vista Resort Village and Spa mm. yesterday. Deputies said a family was packing up their belongings to head back to Michigan when a nine-year-old boy who was left unattended in the room, now nine years old, yeah, nine years old should have no problem being unattended. But anyway, a uh, deputy said a family member returned back to the room, heard the child scream, saw him on the ground... How far did he fall? Three, three, four. three floors. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, he's okay, apparently. The boy was alert and conscious and was able to get up and walk, but they did bring him to Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. Wow. Gosh. Gosh. So. No, they, they can't sue Disney for that one. Is that, a, is that a Disney property? Lake Buena Vista Resort Village? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything Lake Buena Vista, it's, it's all Disney. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Lake Buena Vista. Uh, let's see. Uh, the 33rd annual Light Up Ocala is tomorrow. I told you this already. Uh, the hours that they advertise are 4 p.m. till 9 p.m., mm-hmm. which that's a good time to go. I mean, we have to go there early to set up, but it, as ju- if I was just going as a, a re- whatever, spectator. spectator, yeah, I wouldn't go any earlier than 4. No. I mean, because it's a long no. wait. The lights come on about, what, 6 maybe? Yeah. 6, 6.30? I don't even know what time, but... Uh, I, th- I think I think Joe says in the promo seven thirty. Oh, okay. So I think okay. that's what he says. I went past the square last night on the way to my mom's, and the Christmas tree is all set up. Where uh, is the, it? The, it's it's right where it was last year on that empty lot. The uh, ice skating rink is on that same empty lot, so they're right next door oh, to each nice. other. So it makes it for it's a good photo very up. very nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's really really pretty <laughs> down there. They had some of the lights on. Uh, that are curving around the palm trees, uh, but not, you know, the big lights and stuff that they save for tomorrow. So it's going to be very, very fun. Really enjoy that event. I love life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been so many places in my life and time. That's Leon Russell. Leon Russell, who died a couple, uh, last weekend. So yes. Uh, public memorial services are planned for this weekend for Leon Russell. Uh, funeral services are today at Victory Baptist Church in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Elton John, Bruce Hornsby, Willie Nelson, and others will serve as honorary pallbearers. Gosh. What does that mean, honorary? They won't really be pallbearers? I, I don't know. I've never heard that term, honorary. I've just heard the term pallbearer. Uh, Leon Russell, it says here, known for hit songs such as A Song For You. Well, maybe they have the regular pallbearers and then they walk next to it. So they don't actually hold the casket. What song is this? Is this a song for you? Yeah. Yeah, this is a song for you. Cause we alone now and I'm singing this song. 
Oh, you know, Leon Russell. This. Leon Russell was a um, a session musician, a, a, a piano player. Mm-hmm. He was really good at guitar too, by the way. Uh, but he was mostly known as a piano player. And so early on in his career, before he had any his songs that were published and, and made him gave him a name and a reputation and some money, um, he made money by playing piano on people's records. Mm-hmm. And uh, this was a no nonsense guy. He he was in some studio, and Cher tells a story. I, I'm going to mess it if I tell it up, but I, I'll t- give a crack at it. She told a story. I was watching an interview with Cher, and she was making a record, and so he was asked to do the uh, piano on her record. And the producer or something said something condescending to uh, Leon Russell, and Leon Russell stood up, gave the uh, the, the F word announcement, mm-hmm. and left. Never came back. Good for him. (laughs) Never came back. Good for him. You don't need to be. (laughs) Never uh, came back. You know, made fun of by people. I admire that kind of stuff. All right, let me uh, take a break. We will be back on the other side, and the phone lines are open. I see it ringing. I will answer the phone on the other side. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident on this Friday at Beauty with sunshine. Our high 77 to 81. Friday night will be clear to partly cloudy. Lows ranging from 50 in the coolest inland spots to about 60 along the coast. For Saturday, another sunny, beautiful day. The breeze will pick up the high 78 to 82. For Sunday, noticeably cooler despite sunshine. Highs in the mid to upper 60. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Experience Christmas at Gaylord Palms, presented by Fujifilm Instax, November 18th through January 1st. Enjoy spectacular holiday decor, dining, and entertainment, including ice, with an all-new theme featuring a Charlie Brown Christmas, Cirque Dreams Unwrapped Stage Show, Breakfast with Charlie Brown and Friends, Alpine Rush Snow Tubing, and much more. It's everything Christmas in one extraordinary place. Tickets and overnight packages, including priority extra cool hour admission to ice, are on sale now at Christmas at GaylordPalms.com. Christmas time is here, and this holiday season, Gaylord Palms puts a brand new twist on a Christmas classic. It's Ice, presented by Pepsi, featuring a Charlie Brown Christmas by Charles Schultz, November 18th through January 1st. See the whole Peanuts gang carved in over 2 million pounds of colorful ice, including Snoopy's decorated doghouse and dancing at the holiday play rehearsal. Your awe-inspiring experience concludes with the wonder of the nativity and ice. For tickets and packages, visit Christmas at GaylordPalms.com. Yeah, I love the ice exhibit in Gaylord Palms. If you ever uh, get a chance to go down to it, my advice though, if you're going down to see ice, uh, you will love it. You will love it. But it's a long ride, and it's about 15, 20 minutes to get through the thing. Yeah. So it's like a long ride to Orlando for a 20 minute thing, and it's kind of like you, you got to know this in advance. The good news is the Gaylord Palms Resort. Mm-hmm. has lots of stuff happening in their atrium or whatever they call it, this yep. big, gigantic area. And if you go online, I guess, you can probably find a schedule. And if you go later in the day, you'll probably see um, singing girls, you know, mm-hmm. doing Christmas, Christmas songs. Shows. That's what we watch, the singing girls. Yeah. <laughs> I think I dragged you to that one. Hey, Robin, look, singing girls. <laughs> they were so cute in their short Santa skirts. <laughs> they, they were very cute. <laughs> With their black boots. And they were giving away hot chocolate, not the girls, but the, 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 the hotel. Palms. And so, so if you go, don't just go for ice. Go for ice, which is kind of expensive a little bit. It's kind yeah. of on the high end. The parking is a little bit unreasonable, I think. It is. But... You know, but everything else is free. Well, ice isn't free, but I mean, when you walk through the atrium and you take in the mm-hmm. entertainment, all of that is free. You just walk through it. Yeah. And you take in whatever you want. And I think the hot chocolate was free, too. Yeah, that was. Fire. But you can eat in their restaurants, but those aren't free. But they're really nice. <laughs> and those aren't cheap, either. It's always good to go there before Christmas, you know, it because is, you've got Christmas shows. After Christmas, you know, they don't have that. So. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. You're on the air. Morning, guys. Hi, you. 
Say, it looks like uh, the weather's going to be just perfect. I Looking know. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow evening. Uh, yeah. Looks like the real cool air is coming in on Sunday, which is, uh, it's probably better that it's happening on Sunday. But, uh, see, I just wanted to ma- make a factor. I, I have, I got a feeling that, that the uh, that Christmas tree will be, that'll be the last time it'll be on that spot, because I believe they'll be starting to do something with the hotel there, right? That's what I heard, yeah. That's mm-hmm. what I think so, too, yeah. Yep. I wonder where they're going to put the tree next time. We're kind of getting crowded down there. <laughs> yeah, well, it used to be over on the square itself, so they'll probably put it back there, I would think. Right. It was on the west side of the gazebo. Or maybe they'll put it on the uh, on top Originally. of the, the parking lot. <laughs> there you go. You can put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, we'll look forward to seeing it around. Thank you, Hugh. Yes, Thank we're going to have fun. And, and uh, bring a jacket or a sweater, because I think it'll get down just enough to need something, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm hoping, yeah. Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll feel like Christmas, I guess. Yeah, yes, yeah. for sure. In Florida, anyway. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. By the way, okay, do the math for me, Robin. Okay. L- I'm just going to use a number at random. If a, right. If 100 cars could park uh-huh. on the spot where the garage is now. In other words, before there was a garage, mm-hmm. if 100 cars could have been parked on that spot, yeah, and they put a four-story garage on that spot, mm-hmm. do you multiply it by four? Do you, ha- do you have four times as many cars can park on that spot now? Well, that's what they say. They say the city of Ocala says the capacity of the parking garage is 400, 400? cars. That's what they say. I don't know what well, they were comparing it to. Well, that's good. So there's 300 cars that are now parked there that would have been parked on the streets mm-hmm. before. Yep. Well, that's good. Yep. And they said when, when we talked to Jeff from the city of Ocala yesterday, the whole bottom floor of the parking garage is for uh, handicap parking. So that that leaves the other three floors for other people, and he says vendors can park there as well. So, and and it's 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 all free. So if you're going to be a spectator and go there, and vendors set up at, uh, you know, eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay, how so. far did you grow up from um, Lake Michigan? Oh gosh, I was maybe about a mile and a half. Really? Wow. Well, my high school was right there on the lake, so. Oh really? So anyway, so you know the Great Lakes? Have you? Do you know? I don't la- know all of them. Well, you know them better than I do. <laughs> do, do. Lake Superior is in the news this morning because there's a, vi- a video that somebody took of something out there. What yeah, is that was what cool. is this thing in Lake Superior? The headline reads: "Mysterious image caught on video above the choppy waters of Lake Superior." Off Marquette, Michigan, and they don't know what it is. Gosh, I don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like well, it looks like a building, really. Mm-hmm. But why? How could there be a building in the middle of the lake? Yeah. Wow, that's a cool story. All right, so I'm just telling you, I don't have any news about it. It other looks than cool. It looks awesome. I've never seen that before it's in all my years. It's a mystery. Yeah. Uh, Mitt Romney has been offered, uh, well, rumored to be offered the Secretary of State job under in the Trump cabinet. Ted Cruz has been uh, offered the uh, Attorney General job. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of those guys didn't really speak too kindly about Donald Trump before the election. No, no. But that's okay. I mean, you know, people get along, and I like your uh, analysis of everything. My analysis? Well, yeah, you said Listen it's like this. boxing. Listen. You know, everybody hates everybody, and then oh, when right, the fight's right, right, right. over with, right. you all get that's together right. and are yes, friends. That's exactly what, that's all right. what you said. Listen to this story. A Minnesota mother is suing her 17-year-old transgender child. A, a Minnesota mother is suing her 17-year-old child, transgender child, and several agencies over hormone treatments given for her teen's transition from male to female without parental consent. Ooh, there you go. Yep, if you're a minor, you're supposed to get parental consent for anything. Anne-Marie Calgaro argues her parental rights were taken from her when her child was allowed to get the procedures despite being a minor and is challenging a state law allowing minors to access medical care and procedures without consent. Yeah, that's bad. I agree with her. Sure. I mean, talk to, love your child. I would never sue my child. No. I would love my child, period. Exactly. Don't, don't sue your child. But where did the, the child... The agencies, yes, I can mm-hmm. see that. But where did the child get all that money for all of that? They probably give it away. <clears throat> oh. The mother claims Minnesota's law 
effectively deprives her of her parental rights parental rights without due process and says all medical treatment without her consent should stop until she has an opportunity to go to court and petition to restore all or partial parental rights or until a state court order of emancipation is issued Mm-mm-mm-mm. the teen got a letter from mid minnesota legal aid in 2015 saying he was legally emancipated because calgaro has made it known to him that she no she no longer wishes to have any contact with him and he has been financially supporting himself. There's troubles in that family. Yeah. This is not just about transgender. No, and if he's been, if, uh, you know, the child has been supporting themselves, then, you know, that child's not living with the parents anymore then. Uh, so there you go. That's that's a bucket of worms. A child will win. They'll win. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved Intrarosa, which is a medication that treats women who experience pain during sexual inter- sexual intercourse. Gosh. The medication, a once daily insert, insert, mm-hmm. uh, is the first FDA-approved product containing the active ingredient prasterone, also known as, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, D- I'm hearing Dehydroepiandrosterone, D-H-E-A for short. <laughs> Estrogen levels decline in vaginal tissues during menopause which may lead to vaginal atrophy which contribute to pain during sexual intercourse i'll leave that story alone <laughs> yeah ky doesn't uh help I, everything, just moving on yeah. to the next one <laughs> uh, <laughs> just kiss me out of that story please <laughs> You're blushing. Electronic <laughs> cigarettes. Electronic cigarettes okay. damage gums and teeth. Uh-huh. Just as much as conventional cigarettes, according to the first study to address concerns of the detrimental effects of e-cigarettes on dental health. Mm-hmm. Well, anytime you put something foreign in your mouth, it's, you know, a detriment. Do you know what you have in our musical act? You have a whistle that sounds just like a train. Yep. And you use it when we do the song Chattanooga Choo Choo. Yep. What I would love is to get a video of you outside this window mm-hmm. <laughs> when some of these kids walk by smoking those things mm-hmm. and every time they let out a puff have you blow that whistle <laughs> 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 there is so much smoke that comes out of those things oh yeah they're huge I swear it looks like a locomotive I was behind a car one time and both the driver and the passenger were smoking it and that, like, the, the smoke coming out of both windows was unbelievable Unbelievable. You know, I want to do something tomorrow w- when we're walking around Light Pokawa. I have an idea. Do okay. You, do you know, we started this thing on Fun with Joe called Left Field Questions. Yeah. So I want to get some left field questions and put them all in a, mm-hmm. in something, a container, uh-huh. uh, maybe a Tupperware or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I want to walk around Light Pokawa and ask people mm-hmm. if they'd like to answer a left field question. Uh-huh. Have them pick a question at random and then okay. answer it. Okay. Questions can be anything you want to. Okay. I mean, it won't be the computer doing it. No, it, it'll be on a piece of paper. But for example, I don't, I don't know all the questions in here. Let's say it could be, it could be um, this That'll one. Be fun. It, could, it could be this one. Have you ever checked out a member of the opposite sex in a Windows reflection? See. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be a good one, right? That'd be a real good one. I think <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah. See. And we can put it in like a. Uh, <laughs> be fun. Shoulder. You know, satchel or something. That way, we're not a carrying a shoulder a, satchel a bowl around. Here's another left field mm-hmm. question. I, I like left field questions. Here's here's another one. Why obliterate confused abstracts? <laughs> I love that. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, so we'll get I don't know, <laughs> but I would try for an answer. <laughs> well, Ooh, too there's funny. Darth Vader shadow. That's too funny. Yeah, Darth Vader shadow yeah. or something. All right, what else is in the news today? Um, Today, President Obama and his most important European ally, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, will meet in Berlin with the leaders of the United Kingdom, France, Italy, and Spain as Western leaders try to adapt to a world order shaken up by Trump's election. That is the most ridiculous thing. Obama should have no comments on that. He should just say the American people spoke. He's now the president uh, let's move forward. Well, he's not the president yet. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. He's he's the president-elect, and so let's move forward on other things. Let's go to lunch. 
Let's go to lunch. <laughs> or talk about, you know, those, you know, the, the uh, refugees that are invited into other countries that abuse those people. Well, let me country. squeeze in one more, Robin. Um, it's now one week until Black Friday, so it's time to plan. The majority of big retailers' Black Friday ads are already out. Walmart and Amazon are offering deals on thousands of items, and there are plenty of ways to find a bargain starting Thanksgiving Day. If you're eager to get to the mall at the crack of dawn, you should know that for the past two seasons, Black Friday actually lost its title as the busiest shopping day of the year. That's thanks to competition from e-commerce. Yep. All right. We will push forward. We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A meeting's coming up for Donald Trump and Mitt Romney, who once had harsh words for each other. Guys, a stone cold loser. Romney called then candidate Trump a phony and a fraud. Now the two will meet with reports suggesting they may discuss whether the former Massachusetts governor should be candidate for Secretary of State. President elect is waiting to hear about a top job offer he's made. If Mike Flynn accepts the job of White House National Security Advisor, as multiple sources have confirmed he has been offered, it will mark an amazing turnaround for the man who was the most senior uniformed military intelligence officer in the United States. And Army Lieutenant General Flynn served as Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency from 2012 to 2014. Fox's James Rosen and President Obama joining leaders of key European countries in Germany to talk about security and economic issues.